started thinking 1.2 billion Muslims. Shaitan is good, but he's not that good. <laughs> to deceive 1.2 billion people. So I'll look at this, this Quran and I'll see what it is. I started reading the Quran. I read it completely all the way through the first time. It was unbelievable. Everything started to fall in place. Everything made sense. I took the Quran and now I could say to my Bible, I know now it all works together. Now I understand. Because of the Quran, I was able to understand my Bible. And I say, oh, this is great. God is making me a good Christian. He's going to teach me through the Quran. Well, as I kept reading and kept reading, I kept reading the Quran more because it made more sense, it was easier, it was simpler, it appealed more to my heart, to my intellect, to my mind. And my Bible, as much as I know that at one time it was a holy uh, word of God, now in its polluted state, I started to put it down more. And I started to read the Quran. So now I say, okay, I have the Quran, now I have to meet these people. I have to go where they go. Where do they go? Where do they meet? Well, they meet in a place called a mosque, a masjid. Okay, well, I'm going to go see them at this masjid. I'm going to check them out, as they say. So, to make a long story short, which I never can do, I went to this, to this mosque. I found out where it was, Southern California. I went to the mosque, and I had an upset stomach. It's like when you're wanting, you know you've got to do something, but you don't want to do it, you know? You know, and so I wanted to, but I kind of had an uneasiness, oh, an upset stomach and everything. So I said, well, I'm going to drive around and see if I find a parking space. I drive around several times, no parking spaces around the, the masjid. Finally, I said, that's it. I'm going to go one more time. If I don't find a parking space, I'll go home. That was my excuse. As I was making the turn, right in front of the mosque, a car pulled out. You are making it very hard for me. So I pull in, okay? Now I am more nervous because I am going to have to face these people. I'm going to have to go. I don't know nothing about Islam. I don't know nothing about Muslim, okay? I'm just going to go to this place. And our, our, our mosque there in Southern California uh, uh, Center, it gets filled up very big all, all of the time. It gets filled up so you have to go around and in the parking lot they put out some rugs and everything like that. So I'm nervous. I'm going to go for the first time. I walk up to the door, there is this big brother, Arab descent, big beard, standing like this. I walk up, he says, go around. Okay, I go around. I get to the other side, there's the brothers all beginning to bow and do their prayers. They're looking at me, I say, no, I'm not. I'm just, I'm just watching, you know, I'm just looking. Like when you shop, I'm just looking, thank you, I'm just looking. Finally, it was all over. They finished the prayer and everything. They all started to go into the mosque and, and mingle. So I went into the mosque and I started to mingle. And these brothers all kept saying, Salaam Alaikum. Salaam Alaikum. Salaam Alaikum. I don't know what it means. I don't know what they're saying. But this is the way it happened. Finally, a brother took me. Had, uh, he saw I was kind of a little confused. He grabbed me by the hand and he took me and he says, uh, you're new, right? I said, well, yes, this is my first time. Come on, i show you around. Takes me everywhere, takes me to the, to the men's room, shows me the different places. This is where you do voodoo? Voodoo, what's that? It's not voodoo. No, it's voodoo. Okay, it's voodoo. How do you do this? And you wash before you pray and this and that and whatever. Very nice brother. His name is Omar. Allah sent him to me. Okay? Now, the plot thickens. Because I'm impressed. I like what I see. Now I go home. I'm very happy. Now I decide... I want to pray like them. I, they do prayer. When I was Christian, I just pray. Just kneel my head and I pray. But something appealed to me. When these people get down on their knees and start to bow and prostrate themselves before the Almighty God, the Creator of the universe. Now you see how the religion works. You see how our religion is so much simpler. How it's so beautiful. How it appeals to the intellect and mind. I do not feel embarrassed. It appealed to me. This made sense to me. This is the God, the creator of the universe. Shouldn't I bow down to him? Am I so arrogant? A little piece of clay? It all comes down to several things in the Quran and the Hadith. One of my favorite is I was looking through the surahs. And I hope you'll pardon me if I don't do my Arabic very well. It says, It had ja'a nasrullahi wal-fatr wa ra'aytan nasa. 
يأكلون في دين الله أفواج فصوبي بخمد ربك واستاف أنا إناو كان توابا When you see the people coming to God's religion in great crowds, rejoice, give praise to God.